Namaskaram to all my respected elders. Welcome you to another class lecture series on uh, on health and happiness yoga 20 program. Right. So we'll start with today's class, please. We'll start with a warm up. We'll start with jogging. Please continue with eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Next, with hands now, stretch both the hands forward with hands. With eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax after completing the round. Next, hands rotation in one direction. Rotate your hand in a direction. See that you are performing the yogasanas or, or also all the yogasana, all the physical activity is very very important with the pranaya. See that because we are unable to do opposite direction after that, because we may not be able to do most of the asana, but that's okay. To the maximum extent, we are the movement in the body is more important, right? Uh, as I always mention, right? So movement in the body is important. That will help in proper blood circulation throughout the body. That helps in improving the uh, immune system in the body. Right now, stretch both the hands in front of you and wrist rotation in one direction with 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Relax your hands down. Take a long and deep breath in. Breathe out completely. Once again, stretch both the hands opposite direction after that. With 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 and relax after completing the round. Relax after that place. Next, head rotation in one direction after that. Rotate your head in a direction with 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Opposite direction after that in reverse direction with 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and relax after completing the round. Next, attention to the shoulders now. Rotate your shoulder in a direction, making a round circle with eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and opposite direction after that in reverse direction with eight, seven, six, five, four, three. 1 and relax after completing the round. Now give a support to your back, spread your legs apart and hip rotation in one direction. Hip rotation in a direction with 8, 7, 3, 2, one opposite direction after that in reverse direction. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax after completing the round. Next, taking your attention to your hands now, please raise both the hands up. And as we breathe out, lower it down. Breathe in. Breathing out, in, breathe out, with 7, breathe out, 6, breathe out, 5, breathing out, 4, breathe out, 3, breathing out, 2, 1, and relax after completing the round fingers on top of your shoulder with elbow pointing up towards to the sky making a good round circle with your hands elbow 
making a smooth round circle try reach your elbows together as we are going up and then down with seven six five four three two opposite direction after that in reverse direction eight seven six five four three two and relax after completing the round relax your hands down please next stretch both the hands in front of you now with 20 19 18 17 16 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 2 and relax after completing the round relax after that please next attention to your knees please down and then up down carefully if you are unable to do if you can sit half away and then come up please go ahead otherwise just like one fourth and then come up only 25 percentage and then down 25 percentage and come up right whichever is convenient to you if you would like to challenge yourself a little bit stretch your hand in front of you and with six five four three two one and relax after completing the round next give a support give a support to your knee carefully knee both the leg knees one feet distance apart and then now slow rotation of your knee in a direction clockwise direction both the leg knees as if we are trying to draw a circle kind of with eight seven six five four three two one and relax after that take a long and deep breath in breathe out completely once again in opposite direction with eight seven six five four three two one and relax after completing the round relax after that please next take your attention to your legs now please raise your right leg up and then down then left leg up and then down as much as possible please as much as possible right leg up and then down left leg up and then down keep continuing in your own rhythm right leg up and down left leg up right up left with eight seven six five four three two one and relax after completing the round relax after that please next attention to your shoulder now please take a long and deep breath in breathe out completely and then flap your shoulder up and down and then coming back to the normal position by a long and deep breath what you have to take your attention uh, what you have to do here is that we take a long and deep breath in and after that we breathe out completely and then we hold our breath then we flap our shoulder shoulders up and down right so when we are doing that no inhalation and exhalation happens right right so and then after a period of time maybe for like approximately according to your convenience like we flap our shoulders like for approximately five to seven times and then we breathe in right take your attention please take a normal long and deep breath in breathe out completely and then shoulders up and down and then long and deep breath in breathe out completely
once again take a long and deep breath in breathe out completely shoulders and then relax after completing the round relax after that please next please be seated after that sit comfortably and easily onto the ground on top of a mat stretch both the legs forward taking your attention to your feet now stretch your feet forward and backward spine comfortably straight with eight seven six five four three two one now rotate both the leg feet in a direction after that both the leg feet rotation in one direction with eight seven six five four three two opposite direction after that in reverse direction with eight seven six five four three two one and relax after completing the round now take your attention to your right leg now please right leg on your left hand and slowly swing your leg out and then in with eight seven six five four three two carefully one and relax after completing the round next switch to your opposite leg now slowly swing your leg out and then in see that you are taking a very very good care about the food that is being consumed over a period of time during the day very important see that because you are doing yoga see that uh, uh, let us not be in a false notion that um, because we are doing yoga or any physical workout uh, we are free to eat uh, so so many of my student does it like that that they eat so much and then they do a good workout and then they do go out and then have uh, all kinds of foods not outside in home itself the culprit is inside of our home itself not the outside food basically and it's just the inside food we over nourish ourselves sometimes that's that's a problem there actually right so you see that you're we are consciously approaching the food that's very very important food is the most important thing that is happening because it is happening on a regular basis like in a day you definitely have minimum of four times right minimum three to four times for sure and uh, if we don't consume it in a please continue flapping your shoulders flapping your leg up and down or butterfly keep continuing so see that you are working tremendously on that area very carefully approaching the food all the time check yourself the kind of food that you are eating and then what is happening inside of you psychologically and physiologically at the same time right and that is what the yoga is all about bringing out bringing out the awareness in us we are practicing more of awareness here so that we live our life to its fullest so that we don't miss things we don't miss moments with three two one and relax after completing the round relax after that please stretch both the legs in front of you stretch both the hands forward and we raise both the hands up as we breathe in and as we breathe out we lower it down breathe in and breathe out breathe in breathing out breathe in breathing out breathe in breathing out with four breathe out three breathing out two breathe out last one more time breathe in and breathe out relax after that please relax yourself 
Now sit comfortably and easily onto the ground. Uh, I understand that you are able to sit most of us right now in this stage. We are able to sit at least a minimum cross-legged position where we were having issue at the initial stage of our class. But right now, I believe that the cross leg is, is happening for all of us right now, right? I'm very happy to hear that also at the same time. Stretch both the hands in line with the shoulder. Now, from here, we take a long and deep breath in. And as we breathe out, we twist our body and place your left hand on top of your right leg knee and your right hand onto the ground and give a twist. Look back with three, two, one. And as we breathe in, back to the initial position. As we breathe out, twist. Place your right hand on your left knee and twist. Look back with three. Continue breathing in and breathing out, being in this position with two, one. And slowly as you breathe in, straighten up and as we breathe out twist towards to your right hand side look back with three two one as we breathe in as we breathe out twist with three two one as we breathe in and as we breathe out relax your hands from your sides please now who all are can sit in Sukhasana, that's good. Who were sitting in Sukhasana and then I request them to come into Ardha Padmasana a little in a little challenging though we've been discussing about I've, I've been posting in our fit community group about Ardha Padmasana but Padmasana is quite a challenging one. Right, but, but you can try a little bit at least on top of your calf muscles you are placing your feet on top of your calf muscle right and if that is happening you can extend a little bit forward placing your feet on top of your legs with hands if you are convenient to do padmasana go ahead and try padmasana otherwise in ardha padmasana itself right and who all are sitting in sukhasana please maintain that let us try for sukhasana even for a little more longer period of time and then we'll come back switch we'll switch back slowly to Ardha Padmasana right now both the hands in line with the shoulder with hands palm facing up towards to the ceiling we raise both the hands up as we breathe in join interlock both the hand and then outward direction stretch up stay continue breathing in and breathing out with three two one and as we breathe out relax your hands from your sides please once again stretch both the hands in line with the shoulder raise both the hands up as we breathe in interlock and stretch out upward keep pulling upward direction with five four three two and then slowly as we breathe out relax your hands from your sides please long and deep breath in breathe out completely slowly relax your right leg now sit comfortably and easily next take your attention to your opposite leg now your opposite leg now your left leg on top of your right leg thigh now who all are sitting in sukhasana maintain the sukhasana position itself but if you wanted to give a little bit of challenge you can place your right leg left leg feet on top of your right leg calf muscle region right on top of calf muscle and then slowly slowly on top of your legs thighs right if the leg thigh is convenient for for all of you who are who are sitting in ardha padmasana i would like you to challenge yourself by placing your left leg feet near the groin region the groin region is where our leg starts so the stomach ends and the leg starts so the the, the middle portion so placing your feet inside the groin region if that is convenient right do target for that if you are able to place your feet on top of your legs comfortably then next step is that 
right and at the same time when we try to do that push your leg a little downward direction trying to bring your knee closer to the ground so that a movement also happens on your knee region right which helps in improving the strength and flexibility of the knee both the hands in line with the shoulder raise both the hands up as we breathe in interlock both the hands and stretch up or direction whole or can sit in padmasana please maintain the padmasana stretch keep stretching upward direction with five four three two and then slowly relax your hands from your sides please relax your hands from your side right once again with left leg whole are doing with left leg continue doing it with left leg whole are sitting in sukhasana continue doing it so sukhasana now whole are with me in padmasana both the hands once again everybody together we breathe in raise both the hands up interlock and stretch out upward direction stay with five four three two and slowly as we breathe out relax your hands from your sides please right if uh, one uh, one take away from the video maybe can be uh, i would like to address in this way that that whatever we were doing in terms of health if the weight loss is not happening or whatever it may be see that whatever we were doing till now which was uh, and that is the result of what we are right now today right so see that uh, weight loss or the bo body weight whatever we are having it is important that to the to the maximum extent if we if we reduce it because i tell my mother just the same way i am also telling you that um, that uh, that that your approach to the food has to be has to be very minimal try to uh, minimize your food intake but at the same time see that because i am saying don't do that right uh, try to observe try to understand yourself try to because um, you may be having cholesterol you may be having uh, diabetic you may be a bp patient uh, see that those all are all are taken care very much appropriately uh, considering all those uh, instructions from the doctor uh, i come next only first the doctor stands in front of me right so whatever the instruction he is giving whatever the instruction he has been he has passed on to you make sure that you are you are uh, you are uh, taking care of all those and then when you feel total confident then you can switch to my instructions where you can try uh, uh, work out with your food and then see how it is working out for you because whatever the food that we are have whatever the body that we are having right now is just because of the consumption of food over a period of time and if we don't change that then weight loss is a one thing which is a kind of a mystery right so we have to keenly observe and uh, understand how the food is working out with us right so it's a it's a it's, it's more of conscious eating than uh than than workout itself right working out will not help you to shed weight right in a way definitely it will but uh mostly it's not the workout that workout is happening only for one hour right work and the rest 23 hours what uh, one is to 23 is a very big ratio and there is no match at all so see that uh what you what we are doing in that 23 hours that matter most than than a mere one hour of physical not even one right whatever the physical activity if we just compare if you just see hardly i think uh 15 20 minutes like rest of our like relaxation or pranayama or a little bit of meditation so all together uh, if you see the workout then uh, it's just only the 50 percentage i believe right without talking much i am right hopefully you are understanding that though that is also very important this explanation right next please lie down facing upward direction after that with the help of your hand please lie down facing up and raising both the legs up above the ground slowly and continue cycling in reverse direction with 10 9 8 7 Keep continuing slowly, cycling in reverse direction with 7, 6, 5, 4, 
3, 2, 1, opposite. Slowly relax after that. Please take a long and deep breath in. Breathe out completely. Once again, long and deep breath in. Now raise both the legs up once again. Now in opposite direction with 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and relax after completing the round. Legs onto the ground. Stretch both the legs forward. Take a long and deep breath in. Breathe out completely. Taking your attention to your legs once again, please. Attention to your legs. Raise your right leg perpendicular to the ground. And as we breathe out, lower it down. Raise your right leg up as we breathe in. And as we breathe out, lower it down. With 7, breathing out. 6, breathe out. Keep continuing. 5, breathe out. 4, breathe out. 3, breathe out. 2, breathe out. Last one more time. Raise your right leg up and breathe out. Relax after that. Take a normal long and deep breath in. Breathe out completely. Attention to your left leg now. Raise your left leg up. And as we breathe out, lower it down. Breathe in. Breathing out. With seven. Breathe out. Six. Breathe in. Breathe out. Five. Breathe in. Breathe out. Four. Breathe out. Three. Breathe out. Carefully. Two. Breathe out. Last one more time. Raise your left leg up as we breathe in. And as we breathe out, lower it down. Relax after that, please. Long and deep breath in. Next. Carefully, this one. Joining, bringing both the legs feet close to each other with hands palm facing downward direction. Now raise your right leg perpendicular and tilt it towards to the right side and then get back. Tilt it towards to the right side and then back. Towards to the right side and then back. Last two more times. Breathe in. Breathe out. Last one more time. Breathe out. And then breathe in. Relax after that, please. Slowly, carefully, stretch your leg forward by releasing your entire body weight onto the ground. Now taking your attention to your legs once again, please join both the leg feet together. Now the opposite leg, we raise our left leg up as we breathe in. Next, tilt your leg towards to the left side and then back. Breathe in. Breathe out with three. Breathe in. Two. Breathe out. Last one more time. Breathe in and breathe out. Come back to the initial position. Stretch your leg forward. Long and deep breath in. Next, roll your body towards to the right side and lie down facing downward direction. Please lie down facing downward direction with chin resting onto the ground, bringing both the hands near your shoulder. Now, with the help of your hand, we raise our body up and as we breathe out, lower it down. Breathe in and as we breathe out, lower it down. Breathe in, breathing out. Breathe in, breathing out, 
Breathe in, raise your body up. Breathe out. With five, breathe in. Breathe out. Four, breathe in. Breathe out. Three, breathe in. Breathe out. Two, breathe in. Breathe out. Last one more time. Raise your body up as we breathe in. And breathe out. Relax after that, please. Tilt your head sideways. Long and deep breaths. Now slowly, with the help of your hand, please be seated now. Sit comfortably and easily onto the ground. Please be seated. Sit comfortably and easily and stretch both the legs in front of you. Please stretch both the legs in front of you. Please bend your right leg. Just bending your right leg and placing it onto the side of your left leg knee. Spine comfortably straight. Left hand comes from inside and we try catch hold of our ankle and look back. Stay with four, three, two, one and then as we breathe in, come back to the initial position. Relax yourself. Next, opposite leg now. Bending your left leg and your left hand. Right, right hand goes from inside and we try to catch hold of our ankle if convenient we'll, and or you, wherever it is happening and giving a good twist look back spine straight with three two one and as we breathe in back to the initial position long and deep breath in breathe out completely next join both the leg feet together after that please join both the leg feet together to the maximum extent whatever is happening to the maximum extent now in this we as we breathe in we straighten up our spine and as we breathe out we bend forward as much as possible stay in that feel the stretch on your legs thighs that's more important with seven six five four three two and relax after completing the round once again take a long and deep breath in and as we breathe out bend forward trying to bring your head closer to the ground that's feel the stretch with staying in that position with three two one and then relax after complete pain may happen but the pain should be a kind of a pleasurable pain actually right when uh, when we are doing that the pain happens and then when we are coming back the pain should disappear so such kind of pain is always appreciable which helps in in growing right rather than please understand the two different type of pain where pain remains sustained for a longer period of time so if such kind of pain is hap uh, is happening then make sure that you are completely avoiding that that particular instant of time itself right if you think that that pain is going to stay remain for a longer period of time next now taking your attention to your right leg in this if convenient just see if that is happening or otherwise we will do after this one right in janu shirasana bending your right leg and bringing your right leg feet perpendicular to your left leg both the hands in line with the shoulder we raise both the hands up as we breathe in and as we breathe out we bend forward gaze look upward direction stay with four three two and then raise both the hands up and as we breathe out relax your hands from your sides please stretch your right leg forward in front of you now take your attention to your left leg now bend your left leg bringing it perpendicular to the right both the hands in line with the shoulder spine comfortably straight see that spine we are we are making it perpendicular to the ground straight raise both the hands up and as we breathe out we bend forward try reach your feet toes please slowly 
keep stretching yourself feel the stretch underneath throughout as you are bending forward with four three two and then slowly raise both the hands up and as we breathe out relax your hands from your sides please long and deep breath in breathe out completely last not last but couple of asanas more bend your right leg once again perpendicular to the left both the hands in line with the shoulder carefully whatever we are doing raise both the hands up as we breathe in and as we breathe out literally bending forward the previous one was we were looking up now we will we will we will try to bring our head closer to your knee as much as possible staying in that position with five four three two one and then slowly raise extend your spine up 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 and as we breathe out relax your hands from your sides please next switch to your opposite leg now your left leg perpendicular to the right both the hands in line with the shoulder raise both the hands up as we breathe in and as we breathe out bend forward try bring your head closer to the knee slowly with four three two feel the stretch that's more bringing your head closer to the knee and all is kind of a secondary thing but the most important thing is even for me also at this stage if i am trying to bring my knee head closer to the knee now i should make sure that i am i am feeling that that stretch throughout my leg underneath that's more important actually than bringing the head closer to the knee is not that important right the core the root is more important staying in that position with four three two and raise both the hands up and as we breathe out relax your hands from your sides please stretch both the leg forward keeping your spine straight for a couple of breaths just relaxing yourself next take your attention please now if this is happening let let us see if this is happening please give me feedback if this is happening or not slowly we raise our right leg and place it on top of your left leg on top of wherever it is happening if this is easy for you then bring your feet closer to the body to the body and then now maybe the knee may not go down in this fashion like this but try to keep your knee as parallel to the ground for the time being otherwise you may hurt your knee so slowly slowly as this is the first class both the hands in line with the shoulder we raise both the hands up as we breathe in and as we breathe out we bend forward trying to reach your feet stay with four three two one and then slowly raise both the hands up and as we breathe out relaxing your hands from your sides carefully with the help of your hands slowly straighten up your leg right next attention to your opposite leg ardha padma paschimottanasana carefully let the leg be parallel but if you can if you can strain or stretch yourself you can try bring your knee closer to the ground that is what it has it should be or like or if first initially it has to be like you'll be placing your feet on top of your leg in this fashion initially then the second one is that if just see if if this is comfortable for you right if you are able to do even that also then try to bring your knee closer to the ground the third step right so if most of us will be on the first initial step without without putting much of pressure on your knee right now both the hands in line with the shoulder we raise both the hands up as we breathe in just an introduction that's it and as we breathe out bend forward try reach your toes look upward direction feel the stretch underneath your try pull your feet towards to yourself that's important with four three 
two and then slowly raise both the hands up and as we breathe out relax your hands from your sides please stretch your leg forward spine comfortably straight long and deep breath in breathe out completely please be seated sit comfortably and easily in sukhasana spine straight please continue kapalabhati with your stomach in your own rhythm continue kapalabhati चालू रखिए इन यूर ओन रिदम कीप कंटिन्यूइंग प्लीज स्लो एंड स्मूथ बाय टेकिंग योर एंटायर अटेंशन टू योर स्टमक अपडोमिनल रीजन वन स्मॉल सजेशन टू यू और मे बी लाइक इट इज अ प्रिस्क्रिप्शन बट नॉट अ सजेशन दैट कीप कंटिन्यूइंग योर कपाल भाती एट द सेम टाइम मेक श्योर दैट दैट इज हैपनिंग Now, whatever the practice that we are trying to do here is an inquiry. We are, we are trying to inquire. Yoga is a process to inquire. Though physically, we are moving our body and lot of twisting and turning. Everything is happening physically. We are trying to be fit, right? In one way, right? The present world understand yoga as twisting and turning of the body and all will help you to lead to. physical wellness right with that physical wellness is definitely there that is just a uh, just a by product of yoga right so uh, yoga as a tool has been used by the sages to understand self to understand uh, the mysteries of uh, of of the of the of the entire universe so in one way so so what i am trying to mention here is that that when we approach a certain process like this what we are trying to do right um, so so it's just like uh, just like you visit a temple or a mosque or a church right so we first we clean up ourselves and then we enter into a holy place so this is also something like that so see that you are emptying out your stomach properly you are cleaning up yourself externally also you take a bath and then if you try to uh, though it may be hard or if you think it is hard then it is hard otherwise if you think if you can do it then definitely at least not the head bath but uh, if you do the head bath also then it's well and good right but uh, slowly slowly if you can take a good bath then uh, that much more beneficial because this process is a self inquiry this uh, we are not only dealing with our physical nature of the body but also the emotional states also the our energy body also so it's all the energy level is uh, we are trying to manipulate our energies within our selves for our betterment so it's in a way it is an inquiry in a way we are trying to enter our temple which is inside of us right trying to find that silence within ourselves so so if we are entering that if you are trying to access that area in a way it will be very uh, easy for you uh, to find when you are quite uh, purified internally and externally also so one thing is that you clean up your stomach by uh, because i assume that you are doing this process in the early in the morning period only it that is much more beneficial than doing in the evening kapal bhati please relax after that please relax yourself after that completing that round please relax your stomach muscles i assume that you are continuing kapal bhati uh, in my classes as as you have seen that i'll be speaking more of uh, uh, during the pranayam session but make sure that you are on with your pranaya the kriya whatever we are doing for the time for that matter so 
So see that you are not missing that. Relax after that pace with a couple of long and deep breath just to relax your stomach muscles. Next, for Surya Kapala Bhati, today we'll, I would like to introduce you Surya Kapala Bhati in that we come into Nasika Mudra or whichever way you would like to or you can just close your left nostril and then just the Kapal Bhati that we have been, we have done right now but here inhalation and exhalation happens only from the right nostril. So it's just the right nostril inhalation and exhalation Kapal Bhati. Keep continuing please in your own rhythm, slow and smooth. In your own rhythm. As, as I've always mentioned that uh, Kapal Bhati, in a minute we will be doing approximately around 30, 35 or maximum like 40, not more than that, approximately. So, so, so see, see that you are giving uh, a good gap of at least one, one and a half second of gap between two Kapal Bhati will be a uh, good enough to remain in a very calm, quiet and safe state at the same time. That's, that's important actually, right. Keep continuing in your own rhythm, please. In Surya Kapala Bhati, closing your left nostril and then Kapal Bhati happens from the right. Keep continuing in your own rhythm. Slow and smooth, spine always straight, being with the process throughout with eyes remains closed mandatory because we have been we have crossed so many classes as of now uh, you have understood me I've been trying to understand you and now for the time being from here onwards at least so see that your eyes are remains closed throughout that will help you to bring out the awareness that will help you to help you in bringing out the involvement towards to the process that is that what we are trying to do right now that's more important and then slowly relax after completing the round relax after that please so as i was mentioning that that i see that this process whatever we are trying to do here is that it's a self-inquiry we are trying to uh, find out that inner silence, a silence which is deep inside of us. So, uh, so cleansing up of the body internally and externally is is very very important uh, because when you straight away get up from the bed and then try to do uh, the yoga, uh, it requires more amount of time, more amount of energy because uh, energies are different energies place a different. Uh, time so so it is more uh, recommended that when we try we clean up ourselves so that is why in yoga in uh, hatha yoga especially in the ancient books like uh, like in hatha yoga itself they mentioned that that kriya has given the most important priority kriya kriya is nothing but that uh, we do the cleansing part. The cleansing part is more important. If you do the cleansing part, then only you will be able to, uh, we, we, first we purify it, right? We purify every place, we uh, like the temple also, like first we purify everything. It's not that uh, the idol uh, worshipping uh, is just doesn't happen just like that. First we consecrate the entire space, we make up the environment just like that, it's just the same way. We make up an environment within ourselves by purifying ourselves. So one way of purifying, the least way of purifying is that just to, to take a shower, that's it. There are so many other things uh, in, in yoga itself. Purifying methods are there, but right now maybe uh, I may not be able to well, we are going forward, we will definitely do that, right? But right now, that is the minimal, minimal thing that can be done, right? Just taking a shower, 
kind of right for bhastrika pranayam make a fist of your hand fist close to the shoulder spine comfortably straight take a normal long and deep breath in breathe out completely in bhastrika breathe in breathe out breathe in breathing out breathe in breathing out breathe in breathing out in your own rhythm breathe in breathing out breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out in breathe out breathe in breathe out in breathe out breathe in breathe out last one more time long and deep breath in and breathe out relax hands on top of your thighs with eyes remains closed just being with yourself for a few moments we'll conclude the session with an omkara chanting take a long and deep breath in together breathe in relax after completing that round with all the blessings of our elders and teachers who are responsible for you to be there with all their blessings take your own time in opening your eyes please please take your own time in opening your eyes keeping your eyes remains closed <laughs>